Hello guys. When you're filming things, if it can go wrong, it will. And I thought, well, what can go wrong when you're trying to make a hot dog? Well, um, I did a video, which you'll see later, okay, where I made a hot dog, right? Um, a, a cold hot dog. Now, originally, the packet had four of these in, and I showed people me getting one out. What I didn't realise when I was doing this video until about 10 minutes in was that um, the sound wasn't recording. I forgot to plug the microphone in. So it actually, I forgot to plug the microphone for this in. I plugged in the um, headset so I could hear mute sound, but I forgot to plug the mic. Plug. Anyway, never mind. So there's a version of this which I wanted to show people originally. Um, how to do it, and I wanted to show me taking it out of the packet and everything else. Unfortunately, that was done without any sound. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it again with sound, how it's supposed to be, and I'm going to show you the faulty version which I did originally. Okay? Now, in the other one, I showed you me taking off some paper from a kitchen roll. I'm going to reuse this for the second um, hot dog, okay? It's a shame to just waste paper, so I'm going to use this for the this one as well. So, just, but on the other video one, I did actually take some off and showed you, okay? I'm going to do this more quickly because, um, to be honest, I'm just a bit cheesed off having to do it twice. Um, so, here, now the remaining um, hot dog rolls, I simply break one of them off and then I use a knife and I cut a pocket into it which is going to have the frankfurter, some margarine and um, a cheese slice and I'm going to use this is some margarine which they call just like butter it's a cheap brand it's not the best brand but it is cheap and now I'm going to put some of that into here and I spread it and it's gone my fingers which I didn't want it to and inside here you can see I'm trying to spread some of the margarine um, try and do the other side of the pocket I did do a better job probably on the other one, but I'm trying to do this quickly because I'm doing it once already now. I don't really want to do it again. Also in this temperature, the margarine starting to melt quite a bit, so. I think that will do. This particular roll is starting to fall apart a bit, but never mind. So that's, I'm going to say that's it for the margarine. Normally I'd probably put more in, but I'm also running out of margarine and I need it for some other reason. So I didn't originally intend to do a second one today. Now, I have here, as I showed you on the other one, but the a cheese slice. This is a Dairy Lee um, branded cheese slice. It's one of the top brands over here. I'm not saying it's a millionaire's, but it is one of the good brands if you like cheese slices. It also tastes different to some other cheese slices, okay? It's a lot more milky than normal cheese, in my opinion, okay? So there you go, it's a lot more creamy than like normal cheddar, okay? 
I've taken this out. I'm going to put that into here. I'll fold it over. And put it in here. And now some of it I'm going to take off and put it in here. So I'm going to extend some of it to over here because it, there was it didn't fill all of the pocket. So I'm going to use some of this. Um, so you go. It doesn't look particularly pretty, but there you go. Now, as I've said before, this is an unopened um, pack of German Frankfurters. These have been pre-cooked, so you just, you buy them already cooked, and it's say skinless, ready to eat. So you just open this pack and put your Frankfurter in. Okay. Um, however, I, I'm not going to open this packet up today. I, I didn't on the other one I did earlier. I'm going to instead use another one. It's the same thing, but it's just this one's already opened. Take a front filter out, and you'll notice at the ends it's you know sealed at the ends. And now I'm going to put the frankfurter in here, in between the cheese. So there you go. You see the cheese wrapped around it. Look, and the cheese on the other side. So if there you can see. Look, it's wrapped in cheese. I'm just going to close that for a minute. Just, and I'll open it again in a moment. I said it's, and I know I seem a bit impatient with this, but I've already done this video before, or so I thought, and so it's annoying having to do it again. Um, I'm going to use some barbecue sauce. Normally, you would have ketchup with it, or and or mustard sauce. I'm going to use barbecue sauce instead, and I'm going to squeeze that in in the pocket. There you go, and now I'm going to squeeze it closed. This is fairly similar to how it looks when you actually buy it. As I said, I showed you earlier me taking a couple of sheets of kitchen roll off. I'll show you that again without actually doing it. So, this was the two sheets of kitchen roll folded it fold it again and as i said if you go to a real hot dog stall here outside they will put it onto some sort of paper towel for you so when you walk away and buy it sometimes it's because it's quite hot and so they put it like that for you on a paper towel and you hold it like this and you have to peel some of it back when you're about to eat it. Okay. As I have said, um, this is already pre-cooked, so it's not hot in any way. I can touch this. It will not burn my hand because it's already cooked. And I have not. This is not hot. I've not put this in the oven. I've not put anything in the oven. I'm not going to. It's very, very hot here today. So that's why I'm having a cold hot dog. Okay. Now. I managed to I'm mean, to eat into the pocket but I haven't reached the Frankfurter yet, okay? And we know I haven't quite reached the Frankfurter yet, but you can see it. 
That's the end of the Frank first, which I haven't yet eaten into yet, but I will on the next bite. Now, So there you go, and it just says, I'm eating this pretty much how you would eat it when buying it from a hot dog stall. And sometimes the option you have to move the paper towel back, otherwise you might accidentally eat some of the paper towel. Some people might be saying to me, why are you telling us about how people eat these things? Surely everybody knows, but this is aimed at people from all over the world who have different cultures. And and some cultures, hot dogs are not part of their culture. One of the biggest problems you have when you're eating a hot dog is trying to make sure that the sauce doesn't go everywhere. I've bought hot dogs in the past. You know, from street vendors in you know, town or similar. Or in the park and, um, you know, there's a fun fair or something like that. Not always because I wanted to beat over to, you know, I don't know, a festival or whatever. And I put on the test in such a way that it's impossible to stop it falling on the floor. It's just not realistically viable. So. There's a problem you have, okay? So, I'm now going to do this after the little bit of Just to wipe my mouth with. If, you know, it's not absolutely full of sauce, which sometimes they are because it's spill over. So there you go guys, me eating a cold hot dog, okay, using professionally um, already cooked um, frankfurters, okay, as I said just one frankfurt I used for this hot dog and one for the other one, you know, which you'll see in the video in a moment. Now I'm going to say bye. But the bonus material I'm going to provide is going to be the original version of this, which does not have sound for the, about 10 minutes of the video. And I didn't realise until it was too late, okay? So I'm now going to show you the original one up video I tried to make um, without sound for about 10 minutes, okay? And that's why I then did it again, which you've just seen, okay? So thanks for watching, guys. Bye. But if you want to, you can see the original version of this, okay? I want to make this very clear. This is a second hot dog I've done, right? So what you've just seen is the second hot dog I've done. The other one is, a, is the first hot dog. I didn't just edit the video and put sound over the top of this one. I actually did a, another hot dog, okay? So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.
Okay, it's really annoying. Okay. Um, So, that goes is how to make a cold hot dog, okay? And also, because it's on a paper towel, once you've eaten it, you can then, if it's not, the paper towel itself is not too messy, then you can wipe your mouth with it, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!